Hello everyone, this is Ray Space, and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim 2024 where I'm testing out the DC Designs Concorde, the Quick Flight B1B, and the Milviz slash Blackbird Sim Cessna 310. And so these are all third-party software, third-party aircraft that are payware, and they were made for Flight Sim 2020 and testing them out in Flight Sim 2024 and seeing how they do. And I'll tell you right now, uh, there are quirks. <laughs> there, uh, most of the planes that I've tested out have issues. Let me just say up front that I tried the fly-by-wire Airbus 380. That did not load. That doesn't work right now. So uh, it'll, it just freezes the game as far as I can tell. So yeah, just a warning about that one. Uh, maybe other people can get it to load, but I'll just tell you that I could not get that to load. So anyway, DC Designs Concord at Kennedy International, and we are going to have that. Now, I've already tried it out once. I know what's going to happen. I'm showing you what the issue is, basically. Uh, I am I'm reporting a, a thing, basically. I'm, I'm warning you that this is how it is. And hopefully they'll fix it. Now, there has been an update to the Concorde. This is version 1.0.6. There is a 1.0.7. Nothing in the patch notes to 1.0.7 leads me to believe that they have fixed anything for Microsoft Flight Sim 2024. So, yeah. So, uh, right off the bat, and let's close that. Woo. Uh, things look okay. I mean, the lighting is weird. That's one thing you'll note. The other thing you'll note is the way the visor is going down. See how it's sort of choppy? Well, guess what? That's everything in here. Everything in here is like that. All the dials, everything. Uh, actually, the tank contents, the total fuel doesn't actually work. So yes, as you can see, that's an issue. Here the camera is fine, and you can see the visor is going down well enough out here. It's really only in here that's it's a problem. So throttle up, and I want you to take a look at the fuel consumption gauge, for instance, and the area down there. It's all like one update per second or something like that. Now, flight-wise, it's fine. Well, as far as I can test it. As you can tell, it's really hard to really test fly it in great detail. I don't want to try to land this right now. But you can see the speedometer. The airspeed indicator is still choppy. Basically one update per second. The sounds are okay, it, it'll take off fine. Out here, it's okay. I don't know why I have those visual things on. Hold on a sec. I keep trying to reset the assistances. Okay, well, these are off. I, I keep trying to reset things, and I swear it changes things on me. I don't want those. Well, I want that. I think it was the update. So visor going up. Uh, well, we are over speed. <laughs> That is true. Well, now the overspeed uh, line has increased. I feel like whatever this is, it shouldn't be a very difficult fix. There's just some, some tick, some clock. That's iffy.
I sort of wish the Stream Deck plugin that I had for Flight Sim 2020 still worked. Uh, it does not work with uh, Flight Sim 2024. With that, I would be able to see all the information update properly, potentially. I mean, judging from out here, I think so. Because I think the sim knows where the plane is at all times. It's not, it's just the instruments aren't so clear. I don't want to try to use the autopilot either because everything I press is going to take like more than a second to update. Oh, uh, the vertical speed indicator has a wraparound issue. See, it indicates that we're going down, but we're actually going up. Uh, that's because it hit the top limit of the vertical speed tape, and now it's wrapped around to the bottom of it. So that's special. I just want to see if we can pass Mach 1. After that, I'll leave it alone. Okay, well, I'm just going to punch it. I've got Afterburner on now. I didn't have it on on takeoff. That much is fine. We're at 30,000, which is lower than we should be for trying to pass Mach 1, and I'm pushing it here, but... And so it is basically how all flying was back in the old days with older versions of Flight Sim and the horrible hardware I used to have to run it on, but... <laughs> One frame per second, yeah, well, that's familiar to me. Doesn't seem to have the transonic drag happening here, but that dial says we're past Mach 1. I'm gonna try and make sure that's very clearly happening. Now we do have the silence up front indicating that we're past the speed of sound and airspeed in the bottom right, oh, sorry, bottom left as Mach 1.09. Mach. 1.1 Okay, well that's all I'm gonna do with this for now. It can do that much. Uh, but we have other problems. So, the quick flight B1B. Uh, let's configure that. Okay, this is one weird thing. It has sound at this part. That's weird. It's not supposed to. Okay. And, but when I pick a different one, it still does. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, that the, the, the craziness begins. Let's go to McCarran. Really should be Nellis, but I'd have to zoom in for Nellis, so. Um, it's just weird all around. Ready to fly. Okay, whatever it did there, I don't know. But it does weird things. It does weird things, and then it plops you in an airport in Colombia. No matter where you picked to start off, whatever airport you decided to choose, it's going to have a weird effect. You crash in midair or whatever, and then you get dumped to SKRG in Colombia. That's it. Uh, these screens are not super visible, though I think I can pump them up a little bit. Uh, they're just really, really dark. So that's another thing. Those don't work. The power level and all. The fan RPM is only on one side. And the fuel flow is... Uh, somebody else is taking off there. But let them do that. But can it fly? Oh, 
Well, the problem is it's going to have trouble clearing those trees. Ah. Well, it gave me back on track. Um, if you have a long enough runway, it can take off, but it needs a really long runway and lots... Uh, just hit the afterburner and then maybe you can fly. So basically that's the size of it. But can it fly? Yeah. <laughs> Much like the Concorde can fly, but it's got problems. Um, can it fly somewhere else other than Colombia? Let's try not so far away from Colombia. How about that? Let's, let's go to Panama and see if it can allow for that. Hmm? Maybe that'll be okay. At night. We'll, we'll try Panama at night. Oh! Panama's okay! Hold on, we must investigate this further. Panama's okay, and now the, the everything is working. Okay. So, why? <laughs> okay, fine. Panama's okay. Let's just, let's just set that aside for now. Let's try somewhere else. Um... Let's try Nellis Air Force Base, right? That's close to McCarran, but it's not McCarran. Nellis Air Force Base. Maybe it'll work everywhere now. Maybe it was just it just needed to be somewhere nice. Or maybe it needs to be in the dark. Let's try in the dark first, and then I'll try daylight. Well, it, at night the instruments, the multifunction displays will show up better because it's nighttime, but um well, let's see. Let's see what happens here. Uh, no, the light. Okay, it definitely plopped. Okay, it plopped on the runway, and now it's up here. Oh, okay, I say ready to fly. Okay, so it's not nighttime. We're back at SKRG. It's the airport, <laughs> but but the instruments are working now. Cause so that's at nighttime. That's a nighttime thing. Investigation. So, so the instruments working are a nighttime thing. Let's test that out. I'm going to go back to Panama City. But set it to daylight and see what the front panel looks like. We got some nice buildings back there. Oh! Okay, are we in Panama or are we in Colombia? Okay, so, yeah. Here, let's see. Okay, we are in Panama. So we stayed in the same airport instead of going to Colombia. But yes, the fan RPM stuff is messed up. All, all that stuff seems messed up, and these panels are dim because of the lighting. Okay, well, can we turn them bright enough? No, I can't click on the bright. There's a bright thing there. But the bright thing in the corner doesn't work right now. So, just for you to know. Okay, so that. Yeah, I can I can click on the functions, but not the brightness. And I can change the functions. Well, some of them. Anyway, but which airports are safe? All right, let's say not the United States. South America seems okay. Um, and Central America, maybe. On that theory, let me try... Uh, let me try Buenos Aires. Nope, it does the weird thing. It does the weird thing and we're back in Colombia. So, the only airport that I know that we can actually start out at... I don't even know if we can start out at this airport in Colombia safely. But the only airport I know that we can start out at is Panama City right now. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> That one works. Otherwise, it'll zoom you to this airport in Colombia. Figure that one out. 
the Milvis Cessna 310. Now I have my own livery for it, but I think the effects are sort of similar for the different kinds of livery. Uh, but maybe I'll uh, use a version that doesn't have my livery. So this is my livery, and it uh, shows up as a different variant. This is the variant without my livery. So I'll just pick that. Uh, we'll go to Seattle. So I I've had some weird experiences with the light in this one, but it might be just, and actually my flashlight's on there, it might just be that it was the time of day, there's this particular time of day where the light just doesn't show up very well. Of course, right now the light doesn't seem to be doing very much, but on review, I think that the light does do stuff if we're at night. You know, it's not really increasing the lighting right now. But here we do see the lighting working. So, yeah, I take it back. It's that, that aspect seems to be fine. Yeah, we can get the lighting on. But let's make it daylight again. I'm blocking everybody's way now. Other things. Uh, we have everything ready to go, but if we wanted to, I can click tablet over here, click and then if we have wheel chocks for instance we can see all the wheel chocks are there oh but the system status come on okay so we can take those off okay so that's okay now on the version of my livery the gps system did not pop on i don't know whether that's because it's a different variant as it is in here or whether that was just a momentary thing and it would be fixed now so otherwise this works fine i mean well it sure works better than a couple of other ones So yeah, I would say that the Milvis Cessna 310 is pretty good here. Well, that's a f thing to fly under right there. This is my first time around Seattle in Flight Sim 2024. Well, I, I think... Uh, I must have had some better scenery for the area in 2020 because because sworn Boeing Field looked better. <laughs> I think this is Boeing Field, so but it's definitely possible that I had scenery for Boeing Field. Okay, so approaching Seattle again. This is my first time loading Seattle, so given that it's full of tree, it's probably going to be a little bit icky. So, as I do, this has been a review of the DC Designs Concorde, the Quick Flight B1B, and the Milvis slash Blackbird Sim Cessna 310. At least I've got this one working properly. Um, we'll see about the others if they have updates. I mean, just recently DC Designs released an update for the Concorde, so hopefully they are still on it as far as that one is concerned. And quick, uh, the B1B was a recent release altogether, so one would hope. And with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.